So hi viewers, so this is our IoT based uh, GSM smart mobile motor controller. So today in this video I am going to explain you about the features of the app, how it is very very much useful for you uh, to access from anywhere in the world. Okay, so this product is often confused with our other GSM models because we do have a basic model and advanced model where you had to put a SIM card which has call and SMS facility. Android app for those two devices are separately available from us and that you can get it from our WhatsApp. Whereas this product is concerned, it is completely IoT based where you have to put a SIM card that has data facility. Okay, and now in this video, I am going to show you how this is going to perform. Now before that, let me insert the SIM card and many of you are uh, making a mistake in inserting the SIM card as well, giving it in a, in, I mean in the opposite way you are installing and sometimes you are putting a geo sim card for this module you have to use either airtel vodafone or bsnl so let me show you how to insert the sim this is the right position and this position is given here so you take and insert the sim in this way so that the cast surface on the right hand side just insert it and give a click the sim is inserted now and turn on the product meanwhile we will go to the play store we will go to the play store and download the app go to play store and search for the app rmg smart mobile controller smart motor controller search it you will get the first app so I am just clicking on and installing So open the app and enter the credentials. So here I am typing my credentials. Write your name, your email ID. Please don't write mine. Okay. Many customers are seeing the video. Please do it if I say they type my name and my email ID. So please do type your name, your email id and your phone number, ok, not mine and then login, now there is an option called add device, ok, so now as soon as you turn on the product there will be a fast blinking of the signal which means it is searching for the data network, you need to recharge your sim card with data pack, ok. Now I am going to add the device in my app. You can either scan or type the credentials. Like you can type the serial number and activation code. So you can just uh, scan it. So it has got added now. And you will be able to see um, as our sim card is having a data pack you can see the Wi-Fi signal which was red earlier had become blue now okay now I'm going to show you the basic features of this app for the indications for motor on you can uh, uh, turn on and turn off the motor and then you have dry run indication and overload indication if something goes wrong in the motor uh, if it is running with lower amps it will show dry run if it is running in above the high amps the set value it will show overload line fault indication scheduled if you have scheduled it is 
indicate okay and uh, there are two types of timer schedule timer and stop timer i'll explain you in detail about all the features that you can use from this app first of all let me show you how to turn on so you can use this green button and turn on the motor you can see the indication here and also here it is changed so the indication has changed over here and also here and also you can set the see there is a nine dot icon here on the right hand side and uh, you can name the motor suppose if you have two motors or three motors you can name them by just editing it here okay so you can edit over here and you can set all the features here if you want line check you can enable and disable if you want auto on you can enable or disable if you want sms reply you can enable and disable so what is auto on auto on means whenever the power comes to the device if you enable it you will get the uh, motor pump on now i'll show you if i'm enabling this feature what happens let's see so if you are going to enable this feature you can see the auto on has happened okay now this also changed but you have to save the settings so this is a save icon and this is the home icon so you just save it and auto on is enabled here now in case if power is switched off and whenever the power comes to the device automatically it turns on the motor and you will be able to see that the motor is on okay now power is off you see here so as it is auto on enabled within few seconds the motor pump will turn on okay so it has turned on itself you need not have to turn on it so this is the facility auto on facility so whenever the power comes to the device the motor pump starts on its own so if you do not want this feature you can simply disable it now i am turning off the motor and i am also disabling that feature if you want to disable you can disable so once if you are disabled immediately save the setting then only it gets saved and then with regard to underload and overload setting you can fix up the value here whatever the whatever current that your motor drives so you can uh, set the low limit and the high limit by changing the values here okay so underload current and overload current everything you can set so now let's see the function of stop timer so what does stop timer mean see few customers want to run their motor for specific period of time say for example it might be 5 minutes or 10 minutes or 15 minutes or 1 hour 2 hours so they want to run only for that specified period of time and then they want to stop it automatically by the device or um, uh so in so uh, let's see how it is going to perform now you have this nine dot icon and here you have the uh, facility of setting the time here so just go here and if you want to set 5 uh, minutes or i'm just keeping for 2 minutes so put 2 minutes so first you change it to am then put 2 minutes then you keep it as 12 itself then put okay so and then you press just give a tap on the stop timer tab now you will be able to see the timer is on so now i have given 2 minutes okay now let's see how it is going to stop then you go to the home you will be able to see in the app it is changed at stop timer now motor is also on we'll wait for 2 minutes and see how it is cutting off automatically so this is stop timer you also have an another type of timer called schedule timer schedule timer means it will work on the basis of real time like in a day 
you can set the motor on time and motor off time like uh, uh, five slots sir. you can give the motor on and motor off time as five slots for you to turn on and turn off the motor so uh, for that also i will explain you how to set the schedule and apart from this um, what are all the facilities in this app i will explain meanwhile the motor will cut off automatically in two minutes so here you can see there is an option for registered user any user activation here for registered user activation what you have to do you have to first register the users so before registering any user you should not activate for it for registered user suppose if in case you activate for registered user without registering any of the numbers you will not be able to access the device so you see now the uh, timer is off and stop timer function is enabled so after two minutes automatically it got cut off again if you want to um, set the timer you have to go again to the uh, timing section suppose if you want to make one hour this time like put it put it in am and 00, zero and put as 01 okay so then you give okay here one hour so after one hour if you you have to press this tab so if you press this tab only the stop timer will be enabled now for one hour the motor will run in case if you want to manually stop it also you can go and stop it so here stop timer on motor is on i'm just manually stopping it I thought of explaining the method of registering the users also so now the motor is stopped stop timer also is off now so manually also in in between you can do now let me show you the other option that is schedule timer here you have the option called scheduler so here also you have five slots scheduled one so on time and off time can be set and you can save you have to save it and then only you can uh, use the schedule option and uh, back to the registered user so go to the user list this is the first and foremost thing that you have to do so totally five people can control the device so you can just type the 10 digit phone numbers of the users and then save it okay suppose if it's me uh, you just type the 10 digit phone number you have to save it so after saving it you verify whether it is saved or not ok it is saved so now you go and activate for the registered user because without saving the number if you activate for registered user you may not be able to access the device so now activation for registered user also is done so that nobody else can operate the device hope everything is explained here okay so these are all the settings that you need to do as soon as you uh, get the product from us okay so any doubts or clarifications if needed you can contact us on whatsapp and get things clarified with us if you are unable to, if you are facing any problem or facing any issues with regard to app or the product you can contact us in whatsapp and we are ready to solve okay so these are all the facilities that are available in this um, new smart motor controller product okay so please do not get confused with our earlier basic and advanced model buy this product purchase this product and enjoy this automation Thank you. Bye.